Today's DIY project is a flexible, portable light source for video and photography. It can squish into small spaces, easily hang up on location, and it's simple and fun to make. Different lighting situations call for a different color temperature of light, so we'll combine warm and cool white LED strips and program a Pro Trinket to adjust the light with a four-button membrane keypad. We saw something similar in a crowdfunding campaign recently, and when it was canceled, we still wanted one. So now that we have these dot star LED strips in the store, we can build one together. Follow along with the step-by-step -step guide on the Adafruit Learning System. The link is in the description. It's a good idea to prototype your circuit with a solderless breadboard before affixing everything permanently. And if you can, have a second set of parts on hand to build your circuit using the prototype as reference. Start by laying out your LED strips and attaching silicone coated wire in between them. Here's a pro tip for soldering to these tiny pads. Solder every other wire on alternating sides of the flexible circuit board to help avoid short circuits. After attaching the LEDs to your pro trinket and the keypad as well, load up the sample program using the Arduino IDE and test that everything works as expected. The next step gets a little messy, so put on some gloves and protect your work surface. Permatex 66B silicone adhesive is the only glue we've found that sticks to the sheathing on the LED strips, and it smells like salt and vinegar chips. I mean, use it in a well-ventilated area. Carefully plug the open ends with adhesive to provide protection and strain relief to the delicate wire connections, and let the glue dry overnight. While the glue dries, you can get to making the fabric backing. Use two pieces of denim, canvas, nylon, or whatever thick material you've got. With right sides together, stitch most of the way around the perimeter before turning it right sides out and top stitching around the edge. You can optionally add D-rings or clasps for easily clipping the light panel to things, and on this one I also created a battery pocket with strategic stitching. Once the glue is dry on your circuit, all that remains to do is stitch it in place on the fabric backing. Instead of sewing long continuous runs of thread, stitch and tie off at each location. That way, if one stitch gets snagged, the whole thing doesn't unravel. You can try out different translucent fabrics to use as diffusion or use it as is. These LED strips are weather resistant, but if you want to use this light in the rain, you'll have to protect the circuit further. Check out our episode on rugged wearables for more tips on making things durable. We hope this project is a jumping off point for your own video or work life. You can even use this technique in a structured garment like a hoop skirt. Be sure to share what you make on our weekly show and tell hangout on Google Plus and subscribe if you're not already to catch our freshest episodes the soonest. <laughs>